Every family has their own Thanksgiving traditions, from a fabulous meal to a fun football game. And at WBZ, there is a tradition unlike any other. That's right. John Keller's annual <laughs> list of the biggest turkeys of the year. And tonight he starts with the national turkeys. Hey, guys. As acting White House Chief of Staff, Mick Mulvaney's job is to guide and protect the president. But in his first year on the job, Mulvaney didn't seem up to either task. I'm not concerned about anything. It was Mulvaney who turned up the Ukraine scandal probe to full boil with his ill-advised confirmation of the infamous quid pro quo. We, we, do, we do that all the time with foreign policy. And I have news for everybody. Get over it. There's going to be political influence in foreign policy. The testimony you're about to give is true and correct to the best. Special counsel Robert Mueller has had a long, distinguished career, but its climactic moment, his July testimony about his report on the Russia investigation, was a dud. The report is my testimony. That report was impressive, but to the dismay of Democrats and the delight of Republicans, Mueller in person was not. <laughs> We can begin by fixing our democracy. He wasted precious months playing Hamlet. And when Beto O'Rourke finally jumped into the presidential race, he seemed underwhelming and overmatched. But he'll be remembered for a soundbite Republicans will want every Second Amendment absolutist to hear. Yes, we're going to take your AR-15, your AK-47. <laughs> President Trump seems devoted to personal lawyer Rudy Giuliani, even though he just can't seem to stop talking and talking and talking. I never said there was no collusion between the campaign. And way, way too often, what Giuliani says gets his client in trouble. What a turkey. So many turkeys, so little time. But tomorrow, we'll make room for the top turkeys of 2019 on the local news scene. I'm John Keller, at large, WBZ News.